Hello, my name is Dave Culbertson. Today I'd like to talk to you about the benefits of using solid state relays with triacs for switching versus electrical mechanical relays for three phase motor control. In today's market, it is very common to have equipment that have three phase motor perform different work functions. These functions can be extruders, fans, transport belts, mixers, pumps, air compressors, etc. All of which require many start and stop cycles, even sometimes reversing the motors. It's essential to have means of controlling these motor control functions. And one of the most common solutions for performing this is by using three-phase electromechanical relays. These relay components consist of a block with three main mechanical contacts which provide the power to the three main terminals of the motor once the coil is energized. This approach has been around for years, however the EMR has a lot of disadvantages. Arcing and sparks can appear when the EMR is driving high current levels on their contacts and each time they are activated or deactivated. Over time the contacts of the EMR become significantly damaged causing problems in their functionality and reliability and resulting in inefficient operations of the motor. While there are many advantages of SSR over the EMR, today we will focus on the effects of the EMR arcing or bounce. By understanding the impact of the SSR using the triac for switching during motor startup, it is clear to see why the triac should be considered as a more efficient alternative and indeed a powerful device for motor control applications. Triacs can take any form, but they have certain features in common. All of them are solid state switches that act as open circuits capable of withstanding the rated voltage until triggered. When they are triggered, triacs become low impedance current pass and remain in the conduction state until the current is either stopped or dropped below a minimum value called holding current. Once a triac has been triggered, the trigger current can be removed without turning off the device. Today we've got a one horsepower, three phase motor. Uh, we're going to be turning this on with the electromechanical relay. This is our control switch right here. Later we will show you screenshots with the uh, inrush current at startup. The circuit contains three BTA08 600 CW3Gs triacs, devices to control the power being supplied to the three phase one horsepower motor. The control circuit includes three industry standard optocoupler devices, MOC3061. They have built in zero crossing circuits. This helps to maintain a 120 electrical degree phase shift between the power lines. The overvoltage circuit is implemented in two of the three phases only. For specific details about the overload circuit, please refer to our app note AND. 8008. With the scope, we're going to capture the motor startup, which will show us the inrush current and also the RMS current. Here you can see the inrush current, which is running around 24 amps. And then we, once we get past that period, we're into the this uh, steady state RMS current, about around, running around 3 amps. The inrush current is extremely important to consider when designing triacs for motor control circuits. While one may think that the triac device may be selected based on the motor's nominal current, this is incorrect. It is made based on the motor's inrush current, the motor's nominal current, and the ambient temperature of a specific application. With a better understanding of the impact of the inrush current and the erratic waveform from the bounce of EMR contact arcing, the designer can now determine the best option for the motor control switches. We have presented the limitations of the EMR and the advantages of the SSR with a triac as a more efficient approach. To recap what we've shown here today, the EMR has been around for many years, but the solution with the triac in a solid state solution offers key advantages for 
starting of motor controls. To view the entire portfolio of BTA Triax from On Semiconductor, or for more information about the BTA 08-600CW3G Triac family discussed in this presentation, visit www.onsemi.com and download application note AND8008.